the speed Reach for the whistle Go where the rail may run Reach for the words Reach for the story Follow the rainbow sun To a shining time station Where dreams can come true Waiting there for you So much to see so far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to. Who knows how far you'll go? To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination. <clears throat> What's going on guys? H and W thirty eight trains here. Welcome to another video where today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna discuss us what kind of locomotives should be in Train Sim World Free. So Oh I looked up a bunch of pictures of Canadian national steam locomotives and I found some as a result. First one we're gonna start off with is the E10A. These were built in 1910 by the Canadian Locomotive Company for the Grand Trunk Western. Way before that were the way before the Canadian National took control of the GTW. Both the Grand Trunk Western and the Canadian National merged to create the Canadian National Railways. The Mogul were reassigned to like branch line and yard services as bigger engines were built. Some have been preserved and a few were used in excursion service. 
just like Canadian National number 89 I'm at the Strasbourg Railroad in Pennsylvania. So the E10A would be fitting for a train sim world free because I think it's a really good decent locomotive if for branch line services as, as well as main line service and yard switching duties. The next one I'm going on to next is the Canadian National S1D Mikado. The S1Ds here were built in 1919 by the Canadian Locomotive Works for the Canadian Government Railways and they served as freight locomotives until most most of them were assigned to passenger duties the 282s was served on the Canadian on the Canadian Government Railways until the Canadian National owns the Canadian government railways. Those two roads also formed to create the Canadian National Railways. And the S1D Mikados were also numbered, renumbered differently. There is one S1D Mikado at Steamtown, like Canadian National 3377. An engine that's when it's turned to be fully restored to operational condition. It's on it's on display at Steamtown USA in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And the next locomotive that I'm gonna go I'll talk about is I think the S1D Mikado type is gonna be fitting too for train sim world free. And the next engine I'm talk the next engine I'm gonna be talking about is number forty seven. As you see in its early life life in this picture. Number forty seven was built in nineteen fourteen by the Montreal Locomotive Works as number fifteen forty two. Originally classified as a K two class four six four Hudson tank engine. With it being in its original number or on the Grand Trunk Western. It was assigned to under commuter train service as out of Montreal until the Canadian National or took control of the Grand Trunk Western, as I said about the E ten A's. The X ten A's were way different. Well, the K2s were reclassified as the X-10A class 464 Suburban Tank Engines. And these engines had served as commuter engines on the Canadian National, just like it did on the Grand Trunk Western, until some of these engines were retired and scrapped. But three had survived, such as numbers 46, 47, and number 49. The number 46 I know is being restored somewhere in Canada, but I don't know what location. The 49's on display. The number 47? It used to be located in Bellas Falls, Vermont, where the original Steamtown location was, where it operated excursions until, well, it was bought by F. Nelson, F. Nelson Blunt for his... Steamtown Collection in Bellows Falls, Vermont. After the engine was purchased, it was the very first operation of Steamtown USA. It had operated during the 60s until its maintenance records were lost in a fire in Canada. The decision of the Interstate Commerce Commission and locomotive inspector was blindly emphatic. Without paperwork, the engine could not operate. The fire was dropped in August of 1961. And the engines are static exhibit today, awaiting for a cosmetic restoration. So I'm thinking that the 464 tank X10A would be fitting for Train Sim World Free. That engine, I hope 
to see soon, just like the E10A and the S1D Mikado type. Next, last but not least, a Canadian National G A7B Class 462 Pacific. So I'm going to look up the history about this engine. And let's see if I can find I'm the history about the engine. Let's see here. These engines were built in March of 1919 by the Montreal Locomotive Works as the J7B class 462s. Built for passenger duties. Is for the Canadian National Railways as passenger locomotives. For the Grand Trunk Western. These engines served in New England and the Central Vermont Railroads. The engine that was purchased by F. Nelson Blount. It was purchased It was purchased for a Steamtown collection in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Right after, way before the Steamtown collection moved to right after the Steamtown collection had been moved to Scranton, Pennsylvania. The engine was on display at Steamtown. Number 5288 was then purchased by the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum that had been looking for a 462 U type. They were they acquired urge number 5288. That was a chosen candidate. since it had been and shopped shortly before retirement in 2001. It was moved to the TVRM. It originally resided on static display. In April of 2023, It was purchased and moved all the way to Boyertown on Pennsylvania. I apologize for if I don't know the railroad line, the railroad short line. There are other two locomotives that were acquired. Grand Trunk Western number 5030 and Lake Superior and Ish Pemming Railroads number 18. And to go even further, maybe one day I want to see this engine operate. And I think it will be either the next and last engine that I have on. It will be the next engine on the list of locomotives for Train Sim World Free. So that's all I was going to think of, of having in Train Sim World Free. Can't wait to see these engines being put into action and to go even further so be sure to subscribe click that bell to turn on notifications hit that like button hit that comment section down below and check out my youtube channel for more content so i'll see you guys in the next video oh
See ya. Reach for the speed. Reach for the place. Go everywhere you may run. Reach for the words. Reach for the story. Follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station. So far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to. Who knows how far you'll go? To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination. Where dreams can come true Waiting there for you